What's up guys, my name is Varides. I am a social worker, a life coach, and I have a huge passion for nutrition and fitness, which means that I help people find purpose in their life and get in shape mentally and physically. So in today's video, I want to talk about lessons I've learned after being laid off. And um, a short story before I get into the video. Um, about a month ago, my employer told me that I wasn't getting a new contract after working two years for their company. My first reaction was relief because I was happy that I didn't have to go to that job anymore um, uh, my second reaction was panic because I was like how am I going to pay my bills um, but yeah I know I'm not the only one going through this um, I know that a lot um, due to the pandemic a lot of people have lost their jobs and are probably at home with a lot of time on their hands and that's the reason I decided to make this video so if you're watching this I hope it kind of gives you hope or inspire you to start working on something you might have been putting off so I want to get into the first lesson I've learned after losing my job and that is that your social network is everything. Um, what I mean by this is, uh, I'm going to give you an example. Uh, when I told my family and friends that um, I was getting laid off, they immediately started offering help. Thankfully I have a lot of creative friends and family. Um, they started offering help, um, be it emotionally or practical help, um, like helping me with my resume looking at my application letters so I stand out um, also in times of need in hard times that's when you get to know the people who are real with you um, yeah so that is one of the things that I've learned um, the second lesson is that you shouldn't settle um, I remember when I had the job people were asking me like how is the job going and the only thing I could come up with, with was well it helps pay the bills and th at that moment actually I started realizing that I was settling because I mean the job wasn't bad and it was paying okay but it wasn't something that I saw myself doing for a long period so yeah don't settle find something you really like to do and I'm not telling you that if you have bills to pay you shouldn't accept any any type of job because you don't like it but it's very important that you actually find something to do something you like to do because you're going to spend a majority of your time at that job and you don't want to be miserable so the third lesson I learned um, after being laid off is listen to your gut feeling. I remember months prior to me having a conversation with my boss about whether or not I was going to get a new contract. I already had a feeling that something was off. So I actually started applying for other jobs. Um, so what I'm trying to say is listen to your gut feeling. If something feels off, it's probably because it's off. So the fourth thing I learned after losing my job is to actually have multiple streams of income. This could be from a side hustle, second or a third job, or maybe um, investments or anything like that. And don't forget to save money because when you lose your job, you're going to need the money to actually you know, stay alive and pay, for your, uh, pay your bills. So make sure you have multiple streams of income. The fifth thing that I learned after losing my job is that no means new opportunity. So maybe you've been using your job as an excuse in the past not to start working on your dream or maybe a business you want to start because you said you didn't have enough time. Like right now is the time to actually start working on something you've been putting off. Um, maybe it's to start a company or anything like that. Make sure you spend at least a couple of hours a day working on your dreams so you actually can start your side hustle because as you can see nothing in this life is certain even if you've worked 30 years in a company if they're in financial crisis or whatsoever there's a big chance you're gonna lose your job and last but not least investing in someone else's dreams or in this case a company is never a guarantee that they're willing to keep investing in you because you know when companies are in financial hardship they're going to think about their own financial situation and that means that if they have to let people go they will let people go so make sure that you always always I repeat always work on your own dreams so you have your own income so you're not depending on anything or anyone and use this time even though I know it can be very difficult and for some people it's really like a grieving process but use this time to actually start investing in yourself um, pick up new skills do whatever it takes so you increase your chances of getting another job or increasing your chances of making your own business that you want to start successful and uh, if you don't have the financial needs to actually like pay for a course or anything like that there's a ton of free information online on YouTube or just on the internet 
laying around that you can actually start finding and investing yourself in. So that's the video for today. I really hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helped you in these difficult times. So if you want to support the channel, you can click like or subscribe to my channel so you get more content like this. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.